I mean, you've basically got a five core lineup on Blacklist. It's like, well, who's playing carry? Who's doing what? Khaled. They're gonna go for the void. Uh, it's, it's one way to do it, but. I have to respect the, the spam with the whirling death. The WS again isn't also the oh. tankiest here. Oh, they got him. Raven does go down for first blood, Joe Camp. And that does lead to that early when he was level 3 with one to Arbed getting aggressive again, Joe Cam gonna rotate over, Arbed really playing with fire here as now Carla's gonna rotate and Yoe, maybe he's the one getting caught out, but no, Arbed's down first! Joe Cam and his blood grenades! That's the second time he's able to finish off the kill with a blood grenade! It's Carlo! Desperately trying to find Yoe, a nice shoot out on the dead shot, but the calling is out. He's been silenced for a moment. Carlo looking for the final hit, but no, the rollback oh, from Yoe. Yoe. He mans up and he's gonna go for the TP out. Oh what? no! In Yoe's favor, an illusion here not to the steal. Maybe allows him a little bit of dodge down the bot. Oh, bottom lane. Yeah, they've got Raven. The WS though maybe going a little bit too far because Raven's tanked through all this and now WS the one in danger is Arbid and Raven able to secure the kill. Ashi's void because so far nothing's really happened from their end of things. This is going to be another smoke out here from Blacklist. Yoes may be running right into them. Tim, we're going to see him. Zip forward. Yoe does get caught. They do at least get the swell off in time, but Yoe is dropping extremely low. So he will try and continue to chase up Arbed, who is low on mana and HP. The chase is on for the Storm. Arbed, though, is still looking to be just fine for now, as Yoe is unable to close the gap. The WS may be realizing he's going a little bit too far, as now Raven has shown up. Tim's does at least go down, so they are going to find themselves a Muerta. Meanwhile, Cabby's just taking the top T2 tower by himself with the skeletons. And Raven, he's still waiting with a double damage rune active. Akashi was going to be targeted but a nice chrono, but he's been brambles up. He was rooted. At least look at Arbit. Maybe they can find Raven to boot. Yoe barely surviving as they do get the TA. No, Akashi. Carlo. Right around him, they are going to continue pursuing for that 18 minute power room timing. Silence out onto Arbed, and the Invis room is going to be spotted, though Carlo will go for a quick deny off. But it is probably just going to cost him his own life. He does get completely surrounded at WS. It would be something like the Ags as well, once you can get that barrier up. Like the sustainability of WS up front is overwhelming. Yeah, Tim's in trouble again. He'll get the piece to bail off, but WS still able to clear him up. Now Gabby finally deciding he wants to join his team, does move on to Ponyo. He'll get the Ice Blast off, but Ponyo should slowly burn out to the Radiance. And now Arpin wants Joe Kevin. Yoe. Yoe's gonna jump in. WS is there as well. They've got the reincarnation life, and Arpin, he just melts. He just goes down so done quickly to the damage output of the Timber. Still Gabby does clean up with a double. Yoe's still chasing for more. They know the reincarnation is not available. In comes Akashi now as well. They'll have the chrono if they need it. And with that, Gabi, he will go down without the chrono necessary. They're not able to like play for team fight into Roche, play for team fight into objective, and Talon are the ones seizing this opportunity. They're going in a little bit deeper. They don't have to avoid the chrono. Well, they're gonna try and find WS, and it seems like this time they will. All this time in trouble. But uh, that is about it. Mid. Got a try on Gabby. Gabby, he does have help around the corner if necessary. Immediate TP's in from Talon trying to chase down Gabby now that his BKB has been used up. Arbed, he'll go after the backside with the Grimstroke, but Joe Cam is going to be fine with the Glimmer Cape, but now Raven, he does at least get Yoe down. Gabby's going to survive. He'll take down the, the, the AA. Ponyo is gone. Akashi going to try and come in and help out. Not needing the Chrono. We'll hold on to it for now. He up towards the top lane, but he's been spotted underneath the the ward and traps. Tim's gonna get caught in the Muerta, so it seems like they might have a good start for themselves as Tim's just goes down. Then Yoe. Yeah, Carlo. So he does get caught out as well. Akashi. Not gonna allow him to get away as Carlo is now down. Raven in the meantime is just melded in the Roshan pit, hoping for the best, and we'll just leave the area. Because they are building up that lead despite losing kills. Yes. So he's down Carlo again. Carlo looking for a terrorize, does cancel, but it looks like he is just as good as Carlo is down. Tim's gonna move in along with Raven. They will kill off Ponyo. 
WS, a bit of a more challenging target to take down as he just TPs away with the chains out. A lot more HP you'd have to burn through. TPs are out. Akashi could be in a spot of danger here if he goes for that camp, and it seems like he will, but he'll go right for the Chrono onto Ahmed. Ahmed, the one actually in danger. They cannot save him in time. Ahmed is gone. Present themselves here for Talon Blacklist. And they've opted to play the passive game. They might find the OA. Terrorize him up with the Wave 5 Blast to set up. No Chrono to worry about means they're more than happy to fight this time around as Yo Air. Still able to roll away, he found an angle here. Akashi now maybe willing to try and fight with the team, and it seems like he will, though Raven doing a lot of damage, but it's still not enough. Akashi coming back in after Gabby does lose his first life. Gabby will lose his actual life, does have the Aghanim Scepter up. With that talent, we'll retreat. Gabby there for a second. It's like Akashi's Raven? found Raven, though. Raven! He's just gone. Radiant They've smoked up. They want this big axe reveal Nabed. Akashi. Oh, Evil does get caught once. Gabby is there, but they don't have the damage output to finish him off quite yet. But Akashi does get away, but in comes Abed, holding a couple down as they do find Joe Cam. Gabby, he's gonna lose his first reincarnation life. Meanwhile, Yoe chasing down Tins, and now the Chrono does come out. They got Raven. They have got the TA controlled up. Raven is down. He still has that little reincarnation himself, thanks to Gabby. Just chasing down Akashi, but he is not going to be able to find him in time. And uh, Talon, they're more than happy to leave. They're just, that, that's enough. We got the TA. What a play. Tier 2 attempts. Tim. He's going to. Uh, WS maybe going a bit too far. TP away is out, but Ooh. no, the damage. Too much damage. Out from Arbet and Gabby. They are going to group up as five and smoke through the top lane. Akashi is about to show on a creep wave and underneath vision. In fact, now they do see him, but they want to try and avoid the void first. Find somebody else that you can easily burst down. And WS is certainly not that target, but maybe they have no choice. WS actually blinks forward onto them. WS wants the fight. He wants to find a good opportunity for a Chrono here for Akashi. Meanwhile, Yoe, he has got Carlo on the Dark Willow, so Carlo is down. But they've also caught out Tims here. Tims about to fall, but old Ponyo does go down to Gabby, so you have lost at least the support AA, but now Gabby's gonna lose his reincarnation. And Akashi he still has the chrono available where necessary. He just holds out for now. He'll go for the man fight instead. Raven in the meantime just not seeing the opening, looking to try and retreat as Gabby has been left behind. Gabby is now down. Abed will leave the building and so will Raven. They are still chasing Arbed, but eventually he will be able to zip out of sight though. Yoe is still trying. They really want this what? guy quite badly. Arbed, he's got a little bit of mana, but he, oh, he was silenced. Still WS trying for more. In fact, Akashi! Oh, Akashi just goes right in. Chrono the Fountain, that'll do the trick. Before the side of Blackness, they need this Hex to be up on Arbed. I'm surprised he went for the AoE Vortex first. If of Arbed hunting it down. In fact, it was Raven that had that Mystic Star. Go to the, the top racks they go, Akashi. He's able to deal with that one quite easily. Into the T3 mid tower they go. Jump in, WS trying to find Carlo immediately, though Carlo barely surviving. The push is still there. They're just clearing out the creep waves as best as humanly possible. Bottom lane. Yo has found Gabby now. Gabby. He's got reincarnation. He can't really do enough damage to Yoe to fight back. So he's just going to try and buy enough time to run out of here. Seems like Yoe though. Confident he should be able to control him up. Gabby is still trying for the, uh, to find a way out of this. Trying to juke them out. He has no TP available. All is on target. Meanwhile Akashi he does find Carlo. Gabby, well sadly for, for poor old Gabby, it looks like he's just as good as dead. I mean, it might take them a while, but I don't see how he's planning to get out of this BKP in it. Going for a run, in comes Arvid. Arvid's gonna try and help him out. They'll try to turn onto Yoe. They've got Gabby down, but he's got a bit more time with that Aghanim Scepter to keep trying to chase for now Arvid. Then Dire Straits will drop with him. The high ground, providing Akashi the space to 
Just push, find the support, pick up the buyback out on Abed. A little bit of a heads up play on Abed with that secondary life that he did get. He TP'd back to die in base. So they still have the gem, but that's not going to be enough of a difference maker here. I feel like it. And the Ravens are sitting in the back right now on the tree line, hoping that he can find a, an easy pick off. But now Mega Creeps are up. They're going to try one last oh. time. Abed, he's got the four man blue hole going, oh. but there's no follow up. The Chrono's out there. Caught Raven with that. Raven is gone. Shabby is gone to boot. At least he has a secondary life to play with, but they can't do with Akashi. The man's too big. They're still going to try, but Akashi will just keep time walking everything off, and now, now they're just getting wiped. It might be time, they call it. They've seen it up here for game number two. It's Talon successfully able to fight back and force us to a game three between them and Blacklist rivalry. And, you know, I, I had my doubts about this draft, John, but... Uh,